Good evening. I'm pleased to welcome you to a very special celebration of the 47th annual Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead Partnership. Getting together to celebrate this night was important to us all. Having missed last year because of COVID-19 was disappointing to say the least. So there was no way to miss this event two years in a row. And while we're not in person tonight, we are together virtually to honor some very impressive men and women for their commitments to Hofstra and to the Hempstead community. Their accomplishments are truly deserving of recognition, along with the accomplishments of all the men and women who have been honored before at this event. Tonight, nine individuals join a special group of prior honorees as we recognize them with the 2021 Unispan Award. Each of tonight's honorees serves as inspiration for others. You will be introduced to each of them shortly, but for now, on behalf of the university, I wish to offer congratulations to each honoree. Also, on behalf of the university, allow me to congratulate the Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead Committee. This dedicated committee spends a great deal of time and energy raising money and awareness for tonight's event. Thank you to our committee, which includes Fred Davis, past president of the Hofstra Alumni Organization, Reverend Dr. Cedric V. Easley, Leo Fernandez, Dr. Rodney Gilmore, Michael Higgins, Alan Hodish, Henry Holly Sr., Regina Lattimore, Kenitha Pettis, Raymond Rea, Harry Ransom, Charles Renfro, Ruth Roberson, Keith Senko, Dewana Wilson, Steve Wilson Jr., Joseph Wing, and the chair of this terrific committee, George Sanders. Also, please join me in recognizing the Honorable Waylon Hobbs, Hampstead Village Mayor. Thank you for joining us in celebrating this partnership, and I wish you all a great evening. Good evening, President Rabinowitz, Mayor Hobbs, elected officials, committee members, Hofstra University staff, Unispan recipients, family, friends, and guests. Welcome to the 47th Annual Scholarship Ball presented by the Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead Scholarship Committee. My name is George Sanders, and for the 25th year, I once again have the honor of serving as the chairman of this truly great Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead Committee, and once again will serve as your master of ceremony for the evening. The Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead Scholarship Committee was established in 1974 and is celebrating its 47th consecutive year of supporting the youth of the incorporated village of Hempstead. 47 years ago, the charter members of this committee came together with the idea of the incorporated village of Hempstead, local business, and Hofstra University forming a partnership to work together to raise money to afford Hempstead resident children the opportunity of achieving a college education here at the prestigious Hofstra University. Since its inception in 1974, the Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead Scholarship Committee has worked hard to award hundreds of scholarships to deserving students from the village of Hempstead. In most cases, these students would have found it difficult or even impossible to achieve a college education here at Hofstra University without the financial assistance provided by this committee. The dedicated and hardworking members of this scholarship committee that Alan Kelly previously introduced have been taking time from their busy schedules to meet since last year to plan this scholarship event. At this time, we would like the singing of our national anthem. Tonight, our national anthem will be sung by Namaya Dos Santos, who is a senior at Hempstead High School. Hi, I'm Namaya Dos Santos. I will be singing the national anthem in representation of Hempstead High School. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light was so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight 
for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets flag glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave for tonight's greeting I would like to call upon the mayor of the incorporated village of Hempstead, the Honorable Whalen Hobbs, Jr. To President Rabinowitz, Hempstead for Hofstra Committee, community and friends, it gives me great pleasure as the new mayor of the village of Hempstead to greet you and extend words of welcome to the 47th annual Hempstead for Hofstra celebration. Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead, has made a major impact in the lives of so many young people in our wonderful village. It is amazing what a healthy partnership can produce. It is the wonderful work of the Hempstead for Hofstra Committee that has opened doors for so many young people who may not have had an opportunity to go to school to receive a quality education. I wanna take this time to further celebrate all of the 2021 honorees. It is because of your work, dedication, and commitment, not only to the village, but to the cause of humanity, that we recognize your great work. Hostra and Hempstead are better for your service. The village of Hempstead cherishes the long-standing relationship with Hostra. Hostra is one of the premier academic institutes in this nation, and we are thrilled to have it in Hempstead. Finally, as the proud mayor of Hempstead, I promise that the village of Hempstead will continue to cultivate this wonderful relationship. Again, congratulations to all the honorees, and may God continue to bless you. For tonight's student remarks, I would like to introduce Giselle Rodas. Giselle is currently in her sophomore year at Hofstra University and is anticipating graduating in 2023 with her degree in criminology. Please give a warm welcome to Giselle Rodas. Good evening, President Rabinowitz, Mayor Hobbs, honorees, members for the Hempstead for Hofstra Scholarship Committee, faculty, administration, and guests. I would like to thank you all for giving me this opportunity to speak with you tonight. As a first generation college student, being here is a dream come true. Growing up in Hempstead, I constantly passed by Hofstra and would imagine the possibility of my attendance here. The campus itself looked beautiful with all the tulips and miniature statues all around. I always found it funny seeing the students walking over the Unispan and wondered if I'd get the chance to walk through it myself. For as long as I can remember, I have always wanted to pursue law as an adult. The different types of laws such as criminal and immigration were my personal favorite because I wanted to be a part of a change to help our communities move forward towards a better future and update some of the discrepancies between both systems. I knew Hofstra had its own law school, which motivated me to take the measures necessary to get there. Coming from immigrant parents who did not have the opportunity to complete their studies, education became an important part of my life. Although I had to figure out most of the college process on my own, my parents' strong work ethic pushed me all the way. I tried emulating this quality all throughout my high school and college career. I started out by taking regular classes and pushed myself to get into the honors and AP classes and then getting on to the honor roll every semester. When my senior year came around, I still had the desire to come to Hofstra, so I applied during one of the early deadlines. At the time, I had not known about the Hempstead for Hofstra scholarship, which honestly might have heightened my eagerness to come here even more. During my time here, I took advantage of the many opportunities Hofstra offers to its students. First, being that I have a passion for law, I was admitted into Hofstra's LEAP program. This six-year dual degree program allows me to attain my bachelor's degree and JD in six years' time, a year less than the standard lawyer process. I also joined the Honors College as I wanted to gain more knowledge in classes pertaining to my field of study, which is criminology. Additionally, I'm an, I'm an active member of Phi Alpha Delta, Hofstra's pre-law fraternity. 
This organization is amazing for network building and being able to work with like-minded peers within my field. Finally, I am a treasurer for Women's Ultimate Frisbee, a club sport I have found to, ha to have helped me build leadership qualities and work better amongst group. Overall, I am grateful for being able to speak with you tonight, both as a Hofstra student and a recipient of Hempstead for Hofstra Scholarship. Thank you. Now it is time for the presentation of tonight's Unisman Awards. Our first Unispan Award of the evening is Stuart Rabinowitz. Stuart Rabinowitz was chosen by the Hofstra University Board of Trustees to serve as the eighth president of the university on December 20, 2000, and assumed office in June of 2001. Prior to his appointment, he served as the dean of Hofstra University School of Law from September 1989 through June of 2001. He joined the faculty of the law school in 1972. President Rabinowitz currently holds the Andrew M. Boas and the Mark L. Klasser Distinguished Professor of Law. Under his leadership, Hofstra has created several new schools and founded the university's National Center for Suburban Studies and the Center for Entrepreneurship. During President Rabinowitz's tenure, the profile of the incoming class of undergraduate students has improved in all measures, and the university has opened graduate programs in occupational therapy, nurse practitioner, higher education, and communications. Hofstra is the only university in the United States to host three consecutive presidential debates in 2008, 2012, and 2016. He currently serves as a member of the Board of Directors for the Long Island Association, as the co-vice chair of the Long Island Regional Economic Development Council and is a member of the board of directors of Accelerated Long Island. He has also served as the trustee of the Commission of Independent Colleges and Universities and is on the board of directors of the Long Island Technology Network. It has been both an honor and a pleasure serving on this committee under Stuart Rabinowitz. Our committee would like to thank you for all the recognition and financial assistance that you have provided us throughout your tenure, and the entire committee wishes you much health and happiness in your retirement. It is now a pleasure for me to introduce our honorary co-chairman, lifelong supporter and president of Hofstra University, Stuart Rabinowitz. Well, I uh, began to be involved with the Hofstra community back uh, before almost everybody in the room was born, which was uh, in September of 1972, I joined the Hofstra Law School faculty as an assistant professor, and that was before the first graduating class graduated. So I have taught every class uh, that went to the law school uh, until I became president. You know, I always, uh, Hofstra's an open campus, and it's an open campus uh, in more ways than just no physical barriers to our community. It's an open campus in terms of welcoming all of our neighbors to campus, and, um, and so, and I ha strongly believe that one of our, the university's missions is to do whatever we can to help our neighbors and our neighboring community because as they prosper, we prosper and vice versa. So from day one uh, on joining the faculty, I cared a lot about how Hempstead was doing as a community. And of course, when I became president uh, and realized uh, the wonderful work that Hostra for Hempstead and Hempstead for Hostra does, and the scholarships it provides for Hempstead students, which not only benefit the young people in the village of Hempstead, but benefits Hofstra tremendously by attracting uh, them to us. And you know there are many, many alumni from uh, who have gone here as a result of that scholarship. So, um, and we we are we are willing to help uh, Hempstead in any way without being trying to butt in <laughs> in any way that uh, they want to ask us. We're always willing to provide our expertise, our faculty, uh, and so on. Uh, to help in any way that the Hempstead Village thinks would be useful. First of all, I think it's a it's an ethical mission-bound part of what it means to be a great university. I don't think 
I don't think, uh, I don't believe in the ivy tower that is sort of covered up from the, the place where you are. And um, I think uh, being involved in the community and teaches our students um, to help their fellow human beings and give back where they can uh, and teaches our students hopefully lifelong lessons about the satisfaction that comes um, from trying to help others and it helps helps them meet people from different backgrounds for many of them. So uh, I think it's a win-win for the community and for the university. I suppose if, if you have a $30 billion endowment like Harvard does, uh, it wouldn't be as important to raise money, but we, we don't have $30 billion. And so we need to A, pay our bills um, to uh, provide a first-rate education, uh, and B, we need to not uh, charge students uh, with tuition they can't afford. And so the scholarship, uh, raising money for scholarships, allows students who otherwise wouldn't be able to attend Hofstra to attend, and, and it gives Hofstra some of the best and brightest students. So it is absolutely crucial to both Hofstra and, the, and, and future students to raise money to lower the tuition course for them. I'd like to thank uh, the committee, which every year, the organizing committee of the Hofstra for Hempstead, Hempstead for Hofstra fundraising dinner, and particularly George Sanders, uh, who every year answers the call to uh, lead this effort. Uh, and I'm grateful to everybody who has ever come to one of these events and uh, help Hofstra and Hempstead grow together. Our next recipient of the Eunice Mann Award will be presented to Rachel Harrison Blackburn. Rachel Blackburn has served in the Hempstead Public School System for 20 years as the high school choral director and is currently the lead teacher for Hempstead High School's Visual and Performing Arts Academy. As an accomplished music educator, her choral groups have earned international recognition, including winning two international choral competitions in Verona, Italy, and Prague in the Czech Republic. Her high school choirs have also had the privilege of performing in prestigious locations, such as New York's Carnegie and David Geffen Halls. She is also the founder and the executive director of Voices of Virtue Incorporated. It is because of her untiring service to the youth of the village of Hempstead that Rachel Blackburn has been chosen as a recipient of the 2021 Unispan Award. I now introduce to you, Rachel Blackburn. I have been involved in the Hempstead community for 20 years um, as the high school chorus teacher and director for the music program. So as a result of teaching in Hempstead, I have made wonderful relationships with members of the Community Development Agency. Um, I came in with, I believe it was um, Mayor Wayne Hall when I first started and have been there for with his years and Don Ryan and many other uh, community officials. I am very acclimated with the uh, churches within the Hempstead community as the choir has performed for numerous occasions and um, other civic functions. So I feel like I am a member of the community even though I don't live directly in Hempstead just as a result of the, the numerous invitations we have had and opportunities we've had to um, engage with the community through through the music program. Personally, it is the community that that supports the the school. It supports the the arts. It's the heart of everything that we would want to do um, as educators, um, as leaders. Um, any any person that wants to connect and be a part of the growth and development for young people, um, we look at the community for our our sense of support and sometimes to the extent of our sense of, of being, um, we're taking in children who belong to the community and playing a huge role in their success and, and their development. We can't do that successfully without the support of every entity of the community because it essentially is what develops the, the school system and district. So um, it is essential 
personally for me to have that connection and then with the choir because what it has done through the years that it has become the reason why they were able to achieve the traveling um, experiences that they have done um, it is why they were able to expand beyond just the the walls of the high school with going into New York City and having other opportunities because the community was there to support them um, and so the community just takes on the different roles of what I would consider extended family and people who make contributions that that really impact our future and overall well-being. Raising money for scholarships, well when we think about um, the, the cost of higher education, um, it's something that is extremely necessary. We want to see, especially in our underserved communities, um, all students have the opportunity to have access, not just access, but have the means to um, move forward in their education. And so it is, I think, extremely essential to be a part of that process to ensure that our students are able to, to take on that responsibility. So when, when a student gets to that point when they've graduated high school and now they have this wonderful opportunity before them to go to their dream school and move forward with the career of their dreams, what better way to contribute to their success by raising scholarship monies to ensure that they can achieve that goal. So I definitely want to thank the Hempstead for Hofstra Committee. A special shout out to Mr. Renfro, who has been a wonderful supporter of the arts, of the chorus, of the school district, of the community. Um, I'm certainly appreciative for everything that he has done uh, to support myself and the students. I would like to thank the Hempstead School District because, you know, if they didn't hire me, then I would never be able to be a part of the community and make an impact and share with the students. And I um, certainly want to thank the, the students for being such wonderful people and their families for being so supportive. I am not a native New Yorker, so I, it makes me feel like I belong because of how gracious the families have been and the community at large. So thanks to everyone. Our next UNISPAN Award recipient is Reverend Dr. Yvonne Kali Pendleton. Reverend Dr. Kali Pendleton is a called, ordained, and installed minister of the Word and Sacrament in the Presbyterian Church. She serves as Associate Pastor at Memorial Presbyterian Church in Roosevelt, Long Island, and is currently the chaplain for the Roosevelt Fire Department. She has also served as chaplain and pastoral care counselor for the Hospice Care Unit on Long Island. Reverend Dr. Collie Pendleton has received numerous awards for her service to the church and her community. She is on the board of directors for the Church of Women United and holds a membership in the National Association of Presbyterian Clergywomen in Common Ground, which is an HIV AIDS Institute Faith Communities Project. It is because of her involvement with the community that Dr. Reverend Collie Pendleton has been chosen as a recipient of the 2021 Unispan Award. It is an honor for me to present to you Reverend Dr. Collie Pendleton. I've been involved in the local community um, going on 22 years now. I'm a faith leader and also a clergy person. A collaborative effort that is working within the community is so important in that it allows for um, just the, the coming together of persons and the community to bring about positive change. I do believe that we're stronger together and that we're better together. When you're involved in the community, it enables um, one to be able to identify the needs and to identify um, how uh, the resources and the gifts that one can bring, but also the gifts that are in the community um, to really determine, you know, what is really, really needed um, in order to effect and bring about positive change. The community has shaped me personally in that there is such a strong sense of satisfaction that is gained. There's a strong sense of purpose that um, one realizes um, personally when working in the community, but also to, it has shaped me in terms of professionally, as you um, put it, that I am able to live out um, particular mandates of the faith. I think it's so important because raising money 
for scholarships for students. It's about um, being able to provide opportunity and access for students. It's about um, providing funds so that um, our students can go to college worry and stress free, but also to, it's about investing, and that's an investment in the community too, because as our students develop and become, um, you know, through their college experience and realizing their dreams, and as they become, they return back to the community and they bring their gifts, they bring their talents. So it's a, a win-win situation all around in terms of providing uh, scholarships for the students. But I do want to say first and foremost, I'm just so grateful for this call that I have on my life that God has given me that inspires me to do the work within the community. And also I want to thank um, the president here at Hofstra for um, just understanding and realizing just how important it is for the university to be a part of the community. And I want to thank the staff who are involved in putting this program together. You have been most gracious and most generous and most professional. Thank you. And I want to thank the Hofstra community, university community at large, um, because of the involvement and the gifts and the investment that you make um, in the community. As I said before, you know, there's so many to thank, but also, too, I want to do another shout out to the Hempstead for Hostra Committee, marvelous work, um, valiant work, um, good work, good work, good work. Thank you, um, committee members, uh, and blessings. Our next UNISPAN Award recipient is Keith Erickson, who is currently the chaplain of the Hempstead Volunteer Fire Department. Keith Erickson has been a recreation supervisor for the Village of Hempstead's Department of Parks and Recreation for over 43 years. Keith is also a 42-year member of the Hempstead Fire Department and a proud member of Victory Engine Company No. 4. Keith has served as chaplain for the Hempstead Fire Department for over 25 years. Whenever there has been a special event within the Recreation Department, Keith is always there, lending his professional and personal touch, ensuring that the event is a true success. In addition to serving the Fire Department as its chaplain, Keith has also served the Fire Department in many other offices, including Lieutenant, Captain, and Warden of his company. He is also an active member of the Fire Police Squad. It is because of his unselfish service to both the Recreation Department and the Fire Department that Keith has been chosen for the Unispan Award this evening. I now present to you my right-hand man at work, my chaplain, and my friend, Keith Erickson. My wife has been a, was born and raised in Hempstead. And uh, I was fortunate enough in 1975 to get a, a part-time job working for the village and in the recreation department. And I was very fortunate back in, in 77, August 77, I was offered a full-time job with them. And I took that and I worked hard, studied hard, and started taking civil service exams. And I was finally got to the point where I am today as a recreation supervisor, 44 years later. When I got the job as a full-timer, I felt I had to give something back, or I wanted to give something back to the community, since they were so fortunate to giving me a, a chance. So in November of 1977, I joined the Hempstead Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, to me, the community is, is very important. Um, everyone has to get involved in what they're doing and where they are, in which I did and I tried to do. And for me, working in the recreation department, I'm with the public every day of the week, and I'm with all ages of the public. And in a way, they really shaped me. Even though I had thoughts and ideas, I combined those, my ideas with their ideas, and it kind of really gelled in, and they, the community formed me who, the way I am today. Uh, I'm very honored that, that I was able to raise money for uh, scholarships. The, the youth today, they need all the help they can to get an education and to get survive. The youth are our future, and we have to uh, help them whichever way we can. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the, the committee, the Hempstead for Hofstra, who uh, thought enough of me to uh, nominate me for this prestigious award. It is a great honor, and uh, I really appreciate that. Also, we'd like to thank the president Mr. Rabinowitz, 
for uh, being a part of that. I would like to thank the, the mayor and the, the board of trustees of the village of Hempstead, who 46 years ago, they gave a young man his start, a job. And um, I, hopefully I have not let any of them down over all these years. I would like to thank uh, the superintendent of Parks and Recreation, my boss, George Sanders, who, uh, even though I have a few years on him, both age-wise and time-wise at work, he always gave me a free reign. He would let me do what I wanted to do, run with my ideas and my thoughts. And um, we worked 40-some odd years together, and I think we've gelled pretty well in, in what we are doing. Uh, the members of my firehouse, uh, members of Victory Engine Company Number 4, the guys are great. They always had my back, and they were always there for me and also the Chief's Department of the Village of Hempstead. Anytime, as a chaplain, I needed something, they always made sure that all the resources were provided for me, and I, I thank them very much. Now, to my family, I first of all, like my baby brother. I always call him my baby brother because he's nine years younger, and he's still my baby brother. Uh, my brother Kent, he's always there for me. I can call him any time of day, and he'd be right there, and I thank him. And finally, I have two women in my life. First of all, my wife, Sharon, who has stood by my side for 40, 47 years. And if it wasn't for her, I probably would not be here today. Um, back in September of 1983, I was diagnosed with cancer. It was a cancer that the doctors really never saw that much of, and they told me I only had two months to live. Um, she wasn't going to let that happen. She worked and she studied, she's a nurse, and she knew the right people to call, and she found the right doctor who was gonna take care of me and, and bring me back to health. The only other, other person in my life is my daughter, Kara. Uh, she was my special medicine that I got from God. Finally, I'd like to thank my daughter again, for, and her husband, for uh, providing me with two lovely grandsons. My little, little guy, Nolan, who's gonna be five, next week, and my grandson, Connor, who's going to be two next month. Our next honoree is Kayshawn L. Henderson. Kayshawn Henderson is a proud product of the Hempstead Union Free School District, attending the Early Childhood Center, Franklin Elementary School, and the Alberta B. Gray Schultz Middle School and Hempstead High School. Kayshawn served in several key positions while in high school, including senior class president, president of the Honor Society, and student body president. Kayshawn was also a member of the Hempstead High School Band, playing the flute and the piccolo. Kayshawn graduated from Hempstead High School in 2008 and went on to attend Georgetown University, graduating in 2012 and also graduated from Georgetown Law School in 2018. Kayshawn is currently an associate at Ropes and Gray LLP in Washington, D.C., where he focuses on antitrust, internal investigations, anti-bribery, corruption, export controls, and sanctions. He is an active member of the Ropes Multicultural Forum and serves on the Diversity and Inclusion Committee for the D.C. office. It is a pleasure for me to introduce Kayshawn Henderson. Uh, so I've been connected to the Hempstead community since I was born. My parents met here. I'm still friends with um, actually the children of their children. Um, I went to elementary school here, uh, middle school and high school and graduated from here in 2008. I think community involvement is important because it gives us the chance to actually take a part in where we live, um, to actually be committed to your your area, your people, these are your family members, these are the people who you want to see doing well. So it's incumbent upon us as members of the community to actually be involved and tell people what we actually want rather than sitting on the sidelines. So the community has shaped me in so many ways. I would not be um, anything like I am today without the people that I met in Hempstead, the relationships I built here. Um, as, as Former Mayor Ryan used to say, Hempstead born, Hempstead bred. When I die, I'll be Hempstead dead. Um, I think about that every day. I take that with me throughout um, throughout all the, the conversations I have with different people in different places. Hempstead is with me. Raising money for scholarships is extremely important to me because as a 
a person who went to school on pretty much a full ride, um, college would not have been an option, certainly not Georgetown University without the generosity of individuals who were prepared to pay, essentially pay my way. So as somebody who received that benefit, I'm truly excited about the opportunity to give back so other people can have that opportunity. I would I have to thank my mother because she just, I don't know what she would do if I didn't, <laughs> but she's been extremely important to me, has been a force and has been a, a symbol of support um, since, since I was born, has always been in my corner. I'd have to thank the rest of my family um, and friends for always pushing me to aim higher. Um, I want to thank uh, President Rabinowitz for actually putting the resources um, where they need to be in Hempstead. I think that the Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead um, initiative is something that is so important because it, it's through these types of partnerships that um, Hempstead will finally reach what we, what we all hope it can be. And in that same vein, I want to thank Mayor Hobbs, um, as well as uh, past mayors who I've known personally, uh, Mayor Ryan, Mayor Hall, and Mayor Garner, who have all played a very important part in helping me become the man I am today. Our next UNISPAN recipient is Robin Michelle Howard Banks. Robin, commonly known as Michelle by most, has worked for the Incorporated Village of Hempstead for over 28 years and is currently the administrator for the Village of Hempstead's Planning Board for Residential and Business Development. In this position, Michelle provides vital information and direction to business owners, helping to make their entrepreneurial dreams come true. Prior to moving to the Village of Hempstead, Michelle pursued her lifelong dream of becoming a professional ice skater. Michelle had a long career performing with the ice capades both nationally and internationally from 1981 through 1988. It is because of the long and dedicated service to the village of Hempstead that Michelle has been recognized for this Unispan Award. So I now present to you Robin Michelle Banks. I have lived in the Hempstead uh, community for about 29 plus years. And my connection to the community is I am a administrator for the Village of Hempstead Planning Board. I believe being involved in your community is very important because what it does is it broadens your awareness of what's going on in your community. If you're engaged in your community, then therefore you can be a part of your community. So therefore you can understand more of uh, what's going on, your the concerns or issues within your community, and you can have an impact on your community if you're involved. If you're not involved, then you don't know what's going on. So I, I feel it's quite important to be involved in your community. Working for the village of Hempstead and it being a municipality, um, you engage with all types of people and all type of issues. And so therefore, you, um, I feel like the community has shaped me to be a public servant. I, I you know, I want to better serve my community, the people of my community. And uh, so I feel like being a part of, of the village has really shaped me to really be a, a public servant for the community. I am honored to be raising money to give a young, deserving student from the community of Hempstead an opportunity for higher education. A lot of times, uh, you know, kids, they, they want to go to college, but they don't have the means to go to college. And so me being able to give them an opportunity, raising money to give them an opportunity for higher education, and this is something that, you know, many times young people, are they want to go to college and they can't afford to go to college. So I'm very, very thankful that I'm being, that I'm a part of this, that I'm able to raise uh, money for scholarship and for a deserving uh, student from the community of Hempstead. At this time, I'd like to thank my family um, for all their support and their love. I thank my, my friends, my church family. I thank my, the organizations that I have uh, been a part of, the Hempstead NAACP, the Hempstead Kiwanis Club, the Boy Scouts of America Troop 300 um, that I have done a lot of volunteering for. Um, I'd like to also thank Mayor Garner, Mayor Hall, Mayor Ryan, and now Mayor Hobbs for the opportunities that they have given me and 
uh, allowed me to uh, be a part of the Village of Hempstead family. I also like to uh, thank the president, uh, President Robinowitz, um, and the Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead um, committee for um, honoring me. Um, I'm very, very honored to be a part of this great establishment. Our next Unispan recipient is Raymond J. Rea. Raymond J. Rea is a local businessman and a former owner of Terranova Florist, which was a recipient of the FTD Top 100 Florist Award. Through Terranova's Florist, Ray started the Good Neighbor Day by giving out hundreds of dozens of free roses to people with the premise that they keep one rose for themselves and give the other 11 roses away to neighbors, friends, and especially to homebound elderly residents. He also personally mentored many local Hempstead, Uniondale, and Baldwin students on career day, giving them the opportunity to work hands-on at the florist and seeing the various creative and business aspects of owning and managing a flower shop. Ray is a longtime member of the Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead Committee, and is nicknamed Mr. Happy for the way he always smiles and enjoys making people feel great and happy about themselves. It is because of his positive personality and dedication to our Hempstead for Hofstra Committee that Ray was chosen for the Unispan Award. I now present to you Ray Raya. I have been involved in the Hempstead community since 1979 and it's been a lot of fun. Sure, I was in business in 1979. We had a, a flower shop, so we dealt with the churches and the funeral homes, and uh, uh, we got involved in the community. Well, community involvement is important because it's important to give back. I mean, you try to listen to people and listen to the needs of the community, and if you can give back, it's just a great feeling. Well, the community has shaped me in many ways over the years. It, it taught me to listen, to listen to the community, to learn from the community. Um, it's just been a great learning experience and met a lot of good friends along the way and a lot of clergy along the way and it's been a, a great ride. It means a lot to me uh, because you want to try to help these kids. Uh, the kids come from Hempstead and you want to give them an opportunity because in, in the long run they're going to be the future leaders of the community and uh, it means a lot if you can help these kids out. I'd like to thank my family first. I'd like to thank the Hofstra for Hempstead Committee, also uh, all my friends along the way, and also the Lord for giving me the ability to do the things I can do. Our next recipient is Carol Ransom. Carol is a retired administrative assistant for the Town of Hempstead's Housing Authority and former member at large of Girl Scouts of Nassau County. A 45-year resident of the village of Hempstead, Carol has worked tirelessly with and for the girls of Hempstead for more than 40 years. Carol is a recipient of the Thanks Badge and the Thanks Badge II, which are the highest honors bestowed by the Girl Scouts of Nassau County for an adult volunteer for exceptional ongoing commitment, leadership, and service to community. Carol is an active member of Memorial Presbyterian Church in Roosevelt, New York, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Nassau Alumni Chapter, and NANBPW Central Nassau Club. It is because of her lifelong commitment to the Girl Scouts of Nassau County that Carol has been chosen for the Unispan Award. So I now present to you Carol Ransom. My connection to the Hempstead community is that I've been involved with Girl Scouts of Nassau County for over 40 years. I previously had a Girl Scout troop in Hempstead, it was a cadet troop. The girls were in seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. And we did things to increase the girls' opportunities in the community. I helped girls, I had a, um, a co-leader, and we were telling the girls how it is important to know yourself, to be able to speak in front of uh, uh, an audience, uh, to learn life skills, you know, basic, how to uh, balance your checkbook, um, how to make introductions when you're in a, a group and you're introducing your friends to others in a group. I think it has shown me that I do have a purpose. 
I am able to help the girls um, gain what our motto is, courage, confidence, and character, to show them that they can make the world a better place. In this uh, economic crisis, in this pandemic, there is always a shortage of funds. And one of the main things you, I think we should do is raise money for scholarships for children, for young adults to attain a college education. I want to thank Girl Scouts of Nassau County because that's where, that's what my main focus has been to uh, serve the county, the community through Girl Scouts of Nassau County. So I really would like to thank Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for uh, Hempstead for this award. It's um, always good to say or to be thanked for the work you have done in the community. And um, I want, also want to thank my husband, Harry, and my son, Stephen, because they put up with all the long hours and committee work and everything else that I have done for Girl Scouts. Thank you. Our final UNISPAN recipient of the evening is Dorian V. Segor. Dorian V. Segor Sr. began his career in education in 1993 as a member of the adjunct faculty at Temple University School of Law in the Urban Education's Initiative Clinical Program. Presently, Mr. Segur is part of the sixth grade team of teachers at the Alverda B. Gray Schultz Middle School in Hempstead, where he has spent the past 21 years teaching English and social studies. He founded the ABGS Middle School Law Club, founded and co-sponsored the Middle School Peer Mediation Program, and founded and is the scoutmaster of the middle school's PTSA Troop 280. Consistent with the scout slogan of, do a good turn daily, he plans to continue to accept, discover, and develop partnerships that will serve the children of Hempstead community. Some past examples include working with the Director of Career Services and Diversity Initiatives at Hofstra's Maurice A. Dean Law School, sending law students to teach in the middle school's eighth grade classrooms, and working with Hempstead's My Brother Keeper program to train middle and high school students to hone their own skills while giving back as mentors to younger students. It is because of his true love and devotion to the youth of the village of Hempstead that Dorian was chosen for the UNISPAN Award. I now proudly present Dorian Segur. Community involvement is important because you want to make sure that everyone understands they have a stake in the outcome. It's important for people to invest their time and their energy if they want to see things change. The community mostly has shaped me through my interactions with the families of the children that I teach. Um, what I've found is that everyone is pretty much the same, having the same needs, desires. They help me to understand how important it is to self-assess, to make sure that I'm giving my very best every day. Um, the children that I teach are phenomenal and I need to understand every day that they're just like teaching my own children. And so I think that's probably the most important thing that I've learned from the community, that we are one in the same. Well, I'm a recipient of scholarships. I'm a 61-year-old man, and I can't remember a time that I wasn't given a leg up. Uh, scholarships are very, very important if we hope to uh, further the education of children, of uh, young adults. Anyone who needs assistance, scholarships are vital to their continued growth. First and foremost, I thank President Rabinowitz for having me here, the uh, Hempstead for Hofstra uh, uh, Committee. I appreciate all the time and effort that uh, everyone on that committee has put in. I'd like to thank Dr. Gilmore and Dr. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Clark, Mayor Hobbs. Um, there are a host of people that have uh, been integral in my development and my growth and my ability to do for others. 
uh, Miss Tewitt, Miss Langton, my wife Celeste, my boys, Miss Fox. There's so many people, male and female. Mr. Persico, I could go on and on and on. Miss Ebron, Miss McMillan, I want to thank you all because if it wasn't for your support, your continued support, I wouldn't be sitting here right now answering these questions. <laughs> I want to thank God first and foremost um, for edifying me, building my character, and giving me the opportunities that I've had over these 61 years. And anyone else that I may have missed that has supported me in any way, shape, or form. God bless you. Uh, so I want to thank Miss Corvey for her monumental effort in the after-school program, uh, the literacy and coding program, Morrison Mentors, Global Resurrection. All of these organizations and people have done a phenomenal job supporting our children of Hempstead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless. Our committee would like to give a special thanks to the following sponsors. Bronze sponsors, Ann Malouk, Camille, Michael, and Paige Marie Rea. Our copper sponsors, Keith Erickson, the Hempstead Fire Department Chief's Office, the Hempstead School Administration Association, Ropes and Gray, LLP, and Victory Engine Company No. 4 of the Hempstead Volunteer Fire Department. The committee would also like to recognize Hempstead Village Mayor Waylon Hobbs, Village Trustees Boone, Daniels, Griffith, Williams, and all of our local elected officials that were able to join us this evening. I would like to recognize all of our past Unispan Award honorees who are joining us this evening. The committee would like to thank you for your loyal and continued support. In order for an affair of this magnitude to take place, there is a lot of behind the scenes hard work that must occur for this annual scholarship ball to be successful. At this time, the members of the Hempstead for Hofstra Scholarship Committee would like to recognize and thank Kristen and Amy, along with the entire staff of the Hofstra University Development Office for a job well done. Before I close, I would like to say that the members of the Hempstead for Hofstra, Hofstra for Hempstead Scholarship Committee would like to give a personal thank you to everyone who participated in this evening's event. The committee thanks you for your continued support of this worthwhile scholarship event, and we hope to see you next year. Good night.